Hi friends! Um, welcome to this week's Midweek Nana lesson from our Vista Kids. Um, it is so super cool that I am able to um, share with you this way. Um, I miss you all very dearly. I hope you're staying safe in your homes with your parents and siblings. Um, this week we're going to be talking about one of my favorite Bible stories. It's the woman at the well. Um, to begin, parents, for those of you who don't know, we start by blowing out Easter candles. So we are now in, I believe, the fourth week of Lent. So I will blow out four of the candles on our my little makeshift altar here. Oh, I blew too many. I'll set that altar behind me while I read the story out of our storybook Bible. And this is the woman at the well. How should I angle my body? I should have practiced this. There we go. Tired from walking a long way, Jesus rested at a well in a place called Samaria. His disciples went to get food while he rested. The sun was high in the sky, and whoo, Jesus was hot. The tongue was as dry as a wad of sheep's wool. He was very thirsty. You guys imagine being that thirsty, like when your mouth is dry, and it's like, hmm. That's how Jesus felt. A Samaritan woman came to the well to get water. Will you give me a drink? Jesus asked. She gave him a puzzled look like this. Jesus was a Jew, and she knew that most Jews didn't like people from Samaria. Why are you asking me for a drink? She asked. You guys see? There's Jesus. I feel like a van of white right now. And there's the woman at the well. If you knew who I was and how to angle my body, Jesus answered, you would ask me for living water. Now the woman was really puzzled. Sir, she said, as she pointed at the well, this well is deep and you don't have a jar. Where will you get this living water? Jesus smiled. Everyone who drinks from this well will be thirsty again, but the water I bring lasts forever. What the woman didn't understand was that Jesus wasn't talking about the water you drink. He was talking about living water. Love that forgives and life that lasts forever with God. As Jesus explained more, the woman came more and more interested. She wanted to hear more. So Jesus told her more, lots more. Jesus knew all about her, about where she came from and where she lived. He's like Santa. As they talked, the woman's eyes began to twinkle. I know the Messiah is coming, she said. I've heard all about him. Jesus smiled and put his hand on the woman's shoulder. I am the Messiah, he said gently. The woman was so surprised, she nearly spilled her water jar. Look at her. She's so surprised over here. As the disciples came back with food, the woman rushed past them. She was so excited to tell everyone about what Jesus had said. The woman ran all over town telling people about what she had seen and heard. There's a man at the well who says he's the Messiah. He has amazing things to say. Come and see him for yourself, she said. The people came running to see Jesus. Many people believed in Jesus because of what he told him that day. How would you guys have felt if Jesus talked to you and knew everything about you? The truth is, guys, he already does. I've got a really cool lesson that I'm going to show you to show how Jesus' love is. So I'm going to flip over my screen here. And we're going to go over to my kitchen. this down and 
a jar of water. And we're gonna pretend that this water is really just air. And I've got some old school shaving cream. I'm gonna shake it up. We're gonna pretend that this is a cloud. Now watch what happens when this cloud gets saturated. We're gonna pretend that these are little raindrops. And give it just a minute. <gasps> and look! Can you guys see? I'll hold it up closer. It starts to snow. Or rain, sorry. Inside. That's what God's love is like for us comes down and just showers us in love. And it's kind of pretty too. <laughs> so my friends, I'm sad that I don't get to see you for the next few weeks, but I want you to please remember to wash your hands and say your prayers and to love someone like Jesus loves you, to show them love, even if they're the kind of people who you don't particularly like. Jesus loves them. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for keeping us safe in these uncertain times. We ask that you please, please keep our family safe and our friends safe if that, if that is in your will. Help us to love someone like you loved the Samaritan woman. Help us to be kind and love one another. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Hi, my friends. I will see you again Friday for another live video. I will be reading another book. Um, until then, bye, guys.